AutoCAD 2012 saw the introduction of a brand new array function, the path array. It allowed you to select an object and align it along a path. So let's take a look, pick an object, and it goes along a path. You could increase the number of rows quite easily and also increase the depth. But in 2012, if you then took hold of the line that was generating the path and stretched it, you would end up with the same number of entities but with a greater depth in between. In AutoCAD 2013 this has been further improved such that if you grab the end of your line and drag it, it now introduces new instances of your selected object and it keeps them at the even distance that you originally specified. Nice improvement for 2013. With all the new and improved features of AutoCAD 2013, some are subtle refinements that just make drafting easier and quicker and overall just more intuitive. For example, we've now got something called in canvas property preview. Let's take a look. Um, I've got some center lines here that, well, aren't center lines and they should be. So we'll quickly select all of those. And now you see over in the properties box, we've got the layer option. So click on the layers. We've got some layers there. And now I can just hover over these. And as I'm going down, I get a live preview of what that's actually going to do for me. Oh, there's the center line. That's the one we actually need. If you don't actually happen to have your properties box up, you can also achieve the same simply by going to the layers drop down. There we go. Another nice refinement of just how AutoCAD is continually trying to help you. And talking about help, that's another area that has been improved. Up here we now have a help field where we can actually enter in our questions or queries. For instance, if I wanted to find out about an array, I can just type in there. Now everything these days is online, and what they've done with the help files is to lay them out in a way which makes it far easier to discover what you're trying to learn. So here in the array example, it shows the basic layouts, uh, what the summary is, and as you scroll down, you'll always find any other related objects and also related concepts so you can learn deeper about the particular command that you're trying to use. If you're ever in a position where you can't get hold of the online help because no network connection is available, if you know that you're going to that location in advance, what you can always do is click on this down arrow here, and you can actually download the offline help. So you'll have it permanently on your system. Obviously, online help is always better because you get the most up-to-date information delivered straight to your desktop. The more you use uh, AutoCAD 2013, you'll find that that in-canvas preview works on quite a few different functions, such as the offset command. It gives you a preview of where your line's going to be offset before you commit to it. Really nice. I hope you found this update for AutoCAD 2013 review useful. Uh, thank you very much for coming along today and taking a look at this. Here's our top 10 plus. haven't had time today to show you all of the features that we think are great in 2013, uh, but if you'd like to find out more, Please go along to our YouTube channel or our actual website as well. And, uh, or even better still, why not give us a call and you can book up a course for your updates for 2013. Okay, thank you very much. Come back soon. Bye for now.